Hello everybody, welcome back to Dose of Succulents. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite cacti and succulents. So this is a summer edition because sometimes my favorites change, sometimes seasonally, sometimes just because they have a flower on them right now. But let's just get started with my favorites. Okay, so first up is this Bombax Ellipticum. I have to write the name on the screen because I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this is how the base of the plant looks. It's just kind of like a round ball. But look at the foliage on it. This is, I don't know if this is considered a cacti or succulent. But this right here we have been growing. And it actually got imported from Mexico when I was actually really young. So this has been growing with us for a while. But when it's um, not in its seasonal, um, when it's in its dormancy I guess these leaves right here fall off so it's just left like branches which i don't like how it looks when it's just branches but when it's having when it has this right here the foliage it looks super nice and i love it it looks so strange when i definitely i mean i definitely will take this inside my house if it does good when it, once i find my dream home because this is like a dream plant for me it just brings me so much so much memories from when I was younger when these actually got imported from Mexico. Oh, look at these. These little Ioniums are growing here too. And this is an Oxialis um, Triangularius. I'm not saying that right. I'm sure I'm not. But this is actually um, a plant that just grows here naturally. But I know a lot of house plant lovers like this. I'll insert a picture of it of how some people have it in their home as well. This is actually a cutting because the mom got super big. Um, the trunk actually got too long. Um, so we had to cut it off because it kind of looked weird with a super long trunk. It was kind of getting too curly. Let me just show you how the mom looked. Over here, that's how huge it got, which some people like, but it was just kind of tipping over. So it was inconvenient for this beauty not being shown but look at the bumps on this this is echeveria etna and this has always i feel like this will always be on my list just because that texture like that brain texture that it has on every leaf is just gorgeous and let me just give you guys a little more close up the whole thing so yeah this is also on my favorites and i'm sure it will always be it's my favorite hey echeveria guys. next up is number three which is this is not an order okay i love these all equally i feel like oh i poked myself um so this has a little bit of spines right here which just poked me right here but i just love the variegated color that it has on it the like the little designs i feel like the little these are not designs it's just nature but um that beautiful color that it has is just gorgeous and it's I have a video of this on my YouTube channel about cares and tips that I actually sell this plant online as well. But it's just a very gorgeous plant and I love how it has these leaves right here. Did I mention that it's a Euphorbia amac? I should probably say that. Um, beautiful Euphorbia amac variegated. It's a very... Somebody commented on like one of the reviews on my Amazon, Amazon, like beautiful designer plant. It's just like, I didn't know that was designer, but you know, I'm going to use that to describe some plants now, like designer, like, you know, like a designer handbag. This is like a designer cactus. <laughs> Number it. four is this agave kiso can. This is a gorgeous agave. This looks like something that you would buy in a really expensive like shop. And it's just a very, very beautiful specimen plant. And I actually like how the needles look like, this looks like a very juicy succulent plant. And then all of a sudden like, bam, a huge needle thorn. So this is how it's unfolding here in the middle. And the beautiful color right here. I actually have these in four inch as well. And they look just as beautiful. So that's number four, I got big key. So okay. next up is number five, which is Ioniums. And I don't know the specific name of this, but I just love how this chunky thing looks so leggy and beautiful. I love when Ioniums do that. And it just looks like they're just like stems with some flowers on the top. So this is just like an overview of this one right here. So beautiful. 
Yeah, almost looks like a little tree with some branches. But any Ionium that's chunky and beautiful like that, I just love. And this color is to die for. Number six is this beautiful Sedum Decephylum Minor. The color on this is beautiful. When it has new growth, it's pretty much like this color right here, but a lot like mintier green. But this is how it gets with that color. It's such a beautiful Decephylum Minor. Now that's that purple color. And I just feel like this reminds me of like the unicorn colors, you know, like purple and green. So it's just such a beautiful plant and a little mini ground cover. Variegated string of hearts. This have I have been so obsessed with because this growth on it just wows me every single day. The color on this is breathtaking. And the strings of hearts already wow me on just like an extreme level. So to see a variegation on it is just amazing. And I love how it gets that darker pink on there, on there as well. So let's just show that new growth again. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Okay, next up next. Is, is this Crassula watch chain. And as you can see, they call it the watch chain because it has like the texture and like the little designs of the watch chain. So <laughs> this really describes itself. But this is a gorgeous plant. And I love how this also has like this foliage all year long. Sometimes you have to um, get some dormant plants to only have it um, their like leaves in the summertime or when they're dormant they don't show them but this has it all year long so it creates that foliage look you know so look at that right there oh my god it looks like a beautiful grass like oh my god okay I'm getting a little too exaggerated here as like the next one I just get getting more and more exaggerated and being too cutesy with the succulents so let's just go to next the next up is Echeveria Perle von Narnberg so I feel like everyone has an Echeveria Perle von back in the day these used to be super popular and I feel like everyone just has them now and they're not as cool anymore but this still has to be my favorite because the color it's just amazing it's just like a purple pink color and sometimes it gets more pastel with less water and more sun so this is my favorite still and i just wanted to give it a shout out and tell you guys you know pay attention to your perlivon you know it's still a gorgeous beautiful plant <laughs> so yeah this has to still be so number favorite. 10 i had to end it off with the echeveria blooms i don't know if this counts as a favorite but i just love when they have the beautiful blooms and I love to put these like in my um, my dinner table. I just cut them off because sometimes they get too overbearing on the plant anyways. So I love to add this just like in a little mason jar to make like a little statement. So this is like a little close up of the Echeveria blooms. By the way, some people say Echeveria. I say Echeveria, sorry. <laughs> but this is a very gorgeous plant, plant, I mean bloom. So yeah, that ends it with my top 10 favorite. At the moment, I will be updating you guys around winter time. And have a nice day. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.